Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Croatian Mathematical Olympiad 10th grade 2003 problem number 1. We wish to solve the following equation 2x plus 1 squared plus y squared plus y minus 2x squared equals 1 third. We wish to solve it in real numbers. Uh, so actually to solve this e equation we'll use the following inequality, famous QMAM inequality, the inequality between the quadratic and the arithmetic means, which says that if we have n numbers, real numbers, positive, negative, it does not matter, then the arithmetic mean of these numbers is always less than or equal to the quadratic mean. And moreover, equality is attained if and only if all of these numbers are greater than or equal to zero. So give this problem a try and I will see you in a minute. So here is my solution. Let's first, uh, let's take our equation or let's take the left hand side of our equation and I will just do one slight modification because we have y squared but y squared is the same as minus y squared plus y minus 2 times x squared. I will divide this expression by 3 and I will take square root. By QMAM inequality, I know that this is obviously greater than or equal just the arithmetic mean of these numbers. 2x plus 1 plus minus y plus y minus 2 times x over 3. And now the magic happens. <laughs> 2x, 2x, gone, minus 1, plus y, gone. So we have one third. The left hand side is just one third. Maybe that's right. It's one third. And now we can safely take square on both sides. And we can multiply by 3. And we'll get 2x plus 1 squared plus y squared plus y minus 2x squared is a greater than or equal, one third squared is one ninth times three back to one third. Okay, so we know that this inequality is always true and we know that in AM QM inequality, equality is attained, equality is attained if and only if if and only if we have the following uh, conditions met. So 2x plus 1 equals minus y, that's minus y, and y minus 2x equals minus 1 as well, and moreover, each of these numbers must be greater than or equal to 0, so we can write it here. And now let's solve it. From the last condition, from the last condition, we see that, in fact, x equals y, x equals y, and this is non-positive, because minus y greater than or equal to zero, we can flip sign. Okay, and now, by the first equation, we get, well, minus x is minus y, so we have 3x plus 1 equals zero, so x is minus 1 third, and y is also minus one third. So we have in fact the only one pair of solutions. The only pair of solutions the only pair of solutions x equals y equals minus one third. And that closes our our problem. So yes, thank you very much for watching, I will see you next time, goodbye.